Croquet, the fanciest of fancy lawn games. Well, not so much when me and my friends play it. Let me tell you, the temptation to misuse those mallets is simply too great. Still, our backyard battles are nothing compared to the world of killer croquet, where the world's greatest croquet players are pitted against each other in a croquet blood sport to the death. Join me and my friends Eli Kosminski, Rachel Bennett, and Connie Can as we strive to be the best croquet players we can be, or simply knock each other senseless as we play Killer Croquet. Do you play croquet? In Killer Croquet, you play one of the world's greatest croquet players. Characters like Mariana Malatrov, ex-Soviet super spy. And Thor Odinson, who's duct taped Mjolnir to a broomstick to play croquet. Each character has been kidnapped against their will and forced to participate in a violent croquet blood sport. The game is played very much like traditional croquet. Each player has a character piece and a ball piece, and your goal is to pass your ball through each of the wickets in the correct order and direction. You can accomplish this with two actions on your turn, and you can spend those actions to move your player piece, hit your ball, or attack another player. When you move your player piece, you can always move them immediately to your ball, or, if your intent is less than savory, you can move them up to three spaces in any direction. If your player piece is on the same space as your ball, you can choose to hit your ball. We hit our balls using these dice. We have the soft blue dice, the fair red dice, and when you want to hit your ball wicked hard, you use both dice added together. After you choose your direction, and then roll your dice, your ball moves in a straight line from the direction you chose. When your ball enters a space with another object, you draw a collision card. The collision card will tell you whether or not your ball successfully collides with whatever's on that space. Additionally, when your ball successfully hits something, it will travel in a new trajectory as listed on the bottom of the card. If your ball successfully collides with a player, you do one point of damage. If you successfully collide with a ball or pass a wicket, you score the Roquet token. If you still have the Roquet token at the end of your turn, you score an additional two actions. If you hit your ball and it goes a number of spaces that would put it off the edge of the board, instead it stops. And if you have the Roquet token, you lose it immediately. Lastly, if you're on the same space as an opponent, you may choose to spend an action to make an attack. Draw a collision card, and if it would collide with the player, you do two points of damage. If you do damage to another player, and they're reduced down to zero health, they're knocked down, you score one point, and they have to spend an action to stand back up at the beginning of their next turn. Additionally, once you pass your ball through each wicket in the correct order and the correct direction, you can hit the end post. When you hit the end post, you get what's called poison. Poison gives you two victory points and a few special abilities. The first of which is if you attack other players or hit them with your ball, you do additional damage. Furthermore, poison gives you the ability that when you hit your ball and it collides with an opposing ball, their ball is out. You score one point and they have to run back to the help desk to get their ball back. So, if at any point you get seven points, you win the game. Or, if you successfully pass the course both forwards and then backwards, you win. Or, if you're the only player still standing with a ball, you win. So will we enjoy a pleasant afternoon of this gentleman's game? Or will it be a bloodbath? Find out as we play Killer Croquet. My name is Connie Kant, I'm a painter and a youth worker and a 
writer at a nonprofit community center. My name is Eli Kosminski. I am a fellow board game developer, one half of Room and Board Games, and makers of the upcoming board game Ursa Minor. I am Rachel. I am an Army Pan conservationist and board game enthusiast. Uh, so we've got the quick start uh, basic rule set already set up on the board. We've got the wickets all arranged, so we're ready to begin. Uh, Mariana Malatrov is first, uh, my ex-Soviet super spy, and come up through the little trap door at the start of the course. <laughs> line myself up with the wickets really well. I've just got to get an early lead and just try and make sure that I'm very smartly navigating myself through the course. All right, so I get my two actions. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lined up with the wicket. I'm going to go ahead and hit fairly down at that first wicket. And yeah. Psh. And I miss it, of course. But now you're going to everybody else. Uh, for my second action, I will move to my ball. Because why not? All right, Elon. Ooh, excellent. Today, I am Hitoru Wakanabe, a Japanese research uh, scientist, team, sports captain. He goes by many t titles. Mac is in the way of the wicket, but because my ability allows me to send the ball in the direction of my choosing, I will just hit it right, right at him. I'm not even an obstacle. You are not even an obstacle, not to me. So my hope is that I will be able to get the ball into densely populated areas and kind of pinball it around, murdering everybody in my path and hitting every wicket along the way. So I will just hit it fairly. Four, which is perfect. That's perfect. So um, I will pick up my ball. One, two, three. And now I go through the collision deck. First thing I check for a collision with is the ball. Yep, ball's first. I do not collide with your ball, which is too bad because <laughs> I won't get that okay. But hopefully I can still smack you in the face and smack you in the face. And uh, normally I would glance off, but because I'm Hitoru Wakanabe, that will not happen. So I will continue <laughs> forward for my last space. Oh my god. Um, and I <gasps> found her through it. So I uh, my first wicket. Token. Right. So I oh damn, I do get the okay token. And I have my okay. Second action, I will move to my ball. And now I'll keep progressing through the course. <laughs> Much to everyone's size. Yeah, these guys aren't even on the board yet. That's true. Get on the just level. Wait, I'll get there. <laughs> Obviously, my first round was amazing. I was able to hit my ball directly through uh, Mariana and through the wicket. Then I was able to bounce it back off of Mariana's ball, roquet into the second wicket, and already on my way to the third wicket, which is amazing. Right. So then at this point, I think I'm going to go for the same. There's no real way for me to cleverly knock it into that one, so I'm just going to try to knock it in this direction and uh, hit it very lightly. Let's Hope see. you get it. Or two. Actually, maybe I'll just hit it diagonally so that at least I stay far away from everybody. <laughs> so it's not good with all of the spite on the table. My competitors probably feel pretty pissed off. I'm going to try and stay as far away from them as possible, including Thor and his or well, her offensive ability there. I don't think it's really smart of him to get the God of Thunder on his bad side from the get-go. Heck of a turn. But now he's out ahead and the rest of us are shooting for him. So I'm still pretty on target with my plan. I'm pretty far out ahead, um, so that's going to make it a little bit trickier to get through the remaining wickets because now I have nobody to bounce off of. But if I am able to get poison, then I'll get back into the fray and kill everybody as is the nature of Killer Croquet. I am playing Thor Odin's son. So anyone upset about female Thor, deal with it. And I would assume that Thor is going to clap down from the clouds onto the start. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is coming up through the trap door. You're busting through the uh, <laughs> top of the bunker. Exactly. I mean, he knows no boundaries, really. So my strategy for today is to be close to 
but not on the same space as the other players and roll a lot of really strong hits. Okay, um, so you are in my way of the wicket right now, but I don't really want to spend a lot of extra turns going around you, so I'm just going to try to go through you, and I will hit it fairly to I'm do so. Three. Three. Ooh. Okay. So right, balls first. first. Let me go gotcha. ahead and give you this. And I'm going to roll the dice softly. Two. So first my ball gets to the wicket, and I have to roll to see if it goes through. Mm -hmm. Or draw. Oh, yes, draw. Um, you might hit if you. the wicket sure. were a person, I'd be in the clear, but uh, that is not the case. Uh, mm. So I'm just going to continue moving my ball, move my little four guy mm. over to the ball for the next round. Most of us aren't doing quite as well as Hitoru over there. Well, you should have studied well, okay. at the uh, sports science. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what I studied, but I assume that it was <laughs> sports science. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> MIT of sports. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am Hank Spector, who is five six but weighs zero pounds. Who is a ghost? I picked him because we're both from the south and we're both really indecisive. Oh, a ninety-three. You are wow, Mac, you stood maybe All in. Of the hits. Sorry, okay. uh, Mariana. Mariana, um, yes. I'm not gonna put that back in. Do I hit the wall? Yeah. yeah. You do. Yeah, so I do. Right, so it just stops there. Then... It's out of movement. Miss me. I miss you, but wow. I get to move to. I'm gonna move to my ball, mm -hmm. oh, and then it? I'm gonna hit it. Mm, I now this. I'm in the way. I'm gonna hit yeah. it softly. So this is actually pretty awesome, because there's a cool advantage to going first, because you can run out into the lead, but if things don't work in your Dude. favor, then you just serve as a stepping stone for everyone else. Mm -hmm. So that's cool, I like that. And I think you spent this to get those extra actions, right? Yeah. Yes. But... I do. do I, I do get through. Oh, you don't know. So do I hit your ball? Nope. But it doesn't matter. Do I hit you? Yep. Yes. In the face. <sighs> okay, so that's okay. one point of damage? Yep. Mm-hmm. I move my little heart marker down, and then do I want to? Hmm. I guess I should move diagonally. You could just beat her to death. I. That's <laughs> always <true. laughs> an option. This is killer croquet. What a suggestion. <laughs> okay, I would like to try to go this way. I think okay, actually, and I'm gonna try to roll a two. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Easy. So it's back around to me. I still haven't passed the first wicket, so I mean, straightforward. Um, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, hit the ball softly because that means that even if I go a little bit further, I'll hit Thor, and that's great. Two, perfect. So one onto the wicket. Uh, I'll see if I pass the wicket. I do. I score the row K. Awesome. And then off. There we go. And we'll see if I hit Thor's ball. Not that that matters much. I missed Thor's ball, but I think that that means I do hit Thor. So Ooh. one point of damage. Spend the row K token, so that means that I get two more actions. So I could hit my ball, or I could just hit Thor two times and maybe knock him down. That seems really weird. So pass the wicket, got Thor. Awesome. And I could attack Thor, but I think that I'm going to try and go for Hitoru. I think I'm going to try and hit my ball at him, and he's going to be the target of my hate. One, two, three. That All was a right. good plan. Let's see, good plan. Let's see if I hit Hitoru's ball. I do. Hit the Roke token back. Ha <laughs> ha! Do I hit Hitoru? I do as well. Ouch. And... I'll then hit Thor. For my second action, I miss. Spend my Roque token, and then I'm gonna hit it right back at Hitoru again. I don't think I can get, I can't get the Roque off of him again, but I can still hit him in the face with a ball. 
So First ball. Ball hit. Then player Ouch. hit. So I'm just gonna hit it through the wicket. I'll do it fairly in the hopes that I get a three. Four. Okay. Do I hit Mariana? One, two. Ugh. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's alright, I'm a passive man by nature, for now, until I have poison. And, uh, one, two, three... I get it? Nice. And you get the, the roquet token, too. That's right, I get a roquet, I advance three. through the third wicket. A three, four, or five is good for me, so I'll just hit it fairly. In that direction. And always. <laughs> 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 So I get a one, and I'll follow along my ball for fear of others messing with it. Okay, so I pass the wicket on my first turn, meaning I have to go back through it in order to try again. One, two, three. Okay. I would like to move in this direction. I will hit it fairly. Three. Three! Wow. Okay. I was I was all set to be like, oh, you could have done, but no, that's actually great. Boop. I hit it. Oh. Do I move, though? So the trajectory no. goes, and it goes left. So, so one, one um, two, three? Yeah. That's right. But you do okay. Okay. For you. Maybe I'm just going to try to go back. I'm gonna to try to go back this way and roll a one here. Two. Do I wanna re-roll that? Yes, I wanna re-roll that. You get that three, it's kinda of bad though. <gasps> it's like, why did you say that? <laughs> okay. And you move your ball. And you're good. Mariana still has to get through this second, but I'm all lined up, so this is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna hit a wicked heart. Because why not? Because my special ability lets me go one less. So I think I'm mostly safe. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those moves that the second you make it, you realize, what have I done? So I'll go one, see if I go through the. Oh, please wicked. don't! <laughs> and then it's the wicket, so that means. Five, six, yeah, my, uh, my light touch is not going to save me there. Should not have hit it that hard. Should not have hit it quite as hard as that at all. I will just hit it that way, lightly. One, that's even the best that I could have hoped for. So I'll scoot over here, track down my ball, and be ready for next turn. Um, I'm going to hit this lightly. Okay. In the direction of the wicket. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh, look at that. You did it. I put that right on top for you. Beautiful. Thank <laughs> you so much. So I'm just going to hit it straight in this direction now. Um, you might even glance into the... Uh, fairly. Yeah, you possibly go right through the wicket. That would be awesome. That's six. So now I'm going to try to hit you. But for that left oh, glance. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Left, left glance. glance! Oh, what? There's only one card in the deck, the left glance, that would actually shoot her ball immediately through the wicket. That, that's an incredible shot. That's that's well done. That's crazy. I lose a health, and that means that your ball goes. What? Four. four. And it's possible to go through the wicket there. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, goodness. Wow, that was awesome. Lock my best option is to hit it straight back in this direction, uh, fairly. Yeah, I think you're right, because it's the one, the three, and the five are all good. And yeah. if I hit an eight, you are... Oh, oh shit, yeah. that's true, that's interesting. Just in case. Oh, well, <laughs> that's okay, too. That's okay. All right, I relinquish my roquet. Okay. <laughs> I am going to hit it fairly. Fairly in this direction. No! Oh wait, I can re-roll. Yes. Oh go. my goodness! <laughs> like, how did I possibly roll one? Please don't be a one again. 
There you go. Okay, much better. And you got it. Okay. So back to me. I've got a bit of ground to cover. I'm, uh, I uh, moved to my ball, and then I'm gonna hit it wicked hard right back uh, at that second wicket. Just gotta, I gotta stay on the line with it. Four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Not quite, not quite. But that's my turn, uh, ineffective as it is. Right. Okay, so now, my go. Obviously looking to get that poison. So, as long as I don't get my favorite number one, <laughs> I'll be fine. Hitting it this direction, barely. One, one, one! Maybe I just go and just hit it as hard as I can, because then I'm guaranteed at least a two. Okay, let's do it! Yeah. Go big! Six. Okay, so I draw for a ball collision. I don't get it. Oh god, I really need to get that person collision. Huh. Let's hope that happens. It does. Okay. <laughs> so Thor takes a point. Now he's bloodied. And now I continue, so I've gone one, two, three, four. And and hope for the pull. I get it! Alright. Poison! Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. You should keep going. You still have two more spaces to move? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. okay. That's true. And yeah, five. okay. That's true. Well, <laughs> actually, wait, 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 wait. And it must go by this because your special ability doesn't work on poles. With a ball or player? It does say that. Okay, so which way does it go? So you're going diagonal, it's going that way. So I think you're at the two. help desk. I'm at the help desk. But not off the help desk. Five, six. That's even better for me, actually, <laughs> because now I don't have to go through the pole to murder you guys. So um, I've brocaded, I go back to my ball, mm -hmm. and if I smack it as hard as I can, and I hit it over here, then I can just wipe out everybody's balls and potentially win very early. Yeah. So let's try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta hand it to him. Eli is killing it this game. Uh, I'm not happy about it, but I'm impressed. Maybe not the smartest thing to be all together in one spot. Like, literally, we're all within, like, two spaces of each other. I'm shaking with excitement. <laughs> Six. So he's, he's going to get there. That's, that's one the of first I needed. Okay. So, one, two, three. Um, first collision with ball. Ah! Oh, it's a miss. Okay, I need to hit the person. Okay, I hit the person. No! So you take three points of damage. Uh, it bounces over here. I guess I can say so. So that's uh, one, two, three. This is four. Seriously? Wow. So there's three misses in there. Right, there's there's two left in the deck. Okay. Ah. Hmm. That didn't work out for me. <laughs> so does that mean you have to keep going? One, two, direction? three, yeah. Four, five, six. All right, well, I'll get you guys next time. I didn't hit this <laughs> at all. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I'll get you guys next time. I know, I did almost win the game. But uh, my luck ran out at some point. I could have done exactly what I said, pinballed my way to victory, knocked everybody's balls out, but I got two ball misses in a row, which was fairly unlikely. 10% chance, and it happened. Ah! <laughs> Is how I felt when you like almost went. But I am glad that he didn't, and hopefully that will give me a chance to win instead. I'm gonna hit my ball wicked hard in the direction of this wicked. Oh. You are within two spaces of me. I am within two no. spaces of you. Four. Four. Well, you know, so it goes. But hey, you're not off the board. Yeah, it's true. Oh, so you're okay, that's true. One, two. And I'm gonna to shuffle that. The only ones that miss the wicket are actually the miss and the player. So that's oh, almost so. assured to be. I guess I won't shuffle. There you go. Unless I'm wrong. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit Wicked Hard. Straight this way. Ah! Oh, are you? <laughs> You know, for hitting with Mjolnir, I'm really confused <laughs> about this roll. My special ability with Mjolnir is not working out exactly as I had planned. I had a couple opportunities to use it, and I rolled the die, and I ended up actually getting the lowest possible roll. But it's okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit it fairly. Did you? Way. Oh, that makes sense, okay. Ah, now do you re-roll or not? The re-roll. But you could get a one. Why would you say that? <laughs> Why yeah, would you say after that? After she's already picked up the dice. Oh. Alright, that's good. Okay. Good. Alright. Going to go to the ball and hit the ball. That might be a French accent. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just going to do it softly. One. I'm right there. Good. Just going to... Oh, well now I'm right on line with Hitoru. Oh, nothing I can do about that. Hitoru. Ooh. So I'm going to hit it off um, towards his ball. Six. Okay. So... One. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that was easy. Seems the table's Two, three, turned. four. How? <laughs> and um, I'm just going to go over to my ball. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm not sad. <laughs> <laughs> not I even hiding it. I'm going to hit my ball fairly in this direction and hopefully line myself up in some way with the end post. <laughs> or not. Oh, that works. And it's an eight. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. But nobody's close enough to hear your thunder. The mighty Thor and his thunder. All the way over there. No, I'm going to roll fairly. <laughs> Which it doesn't matter because I got a one. Boop. Ah. No! Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Quiet round. Yeah, quick <laughs> round too. So, narrowly escaped death. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, excited about that. Um, and so I'm gonna hit it that direction. One. Online. Okay, eight. So, um. One, two, I might actually lose my rocket, which would suck, but two, three. Ugh. Dead. Yeah, so that's that's three damage. And, that's and I'm dead. Yeah. KGB, I salute you. <laughs> <laughs> I get a victory point. So it's three, four. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> that's my, here goes my ball. Here goes your ball. Oh. Another oh. point for me. Oh. Okay, so I get a roquet, and actually my eight is money because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will okay, do that. right in the position again. Yo. Okay, so now I just need to uh, roll really high and kill everybody. Okay, let's do that. Eli is swooping in and getting all the points, knocking the players down, knocking out their balls. It's gonna be tough. The question is, do I want to roll very hard? Because if I do that, there's also a chance that I just whack it into nowhere. But I'm not going to miss both, am I? That never happened. <laughs> Alright, six. This may not work out for me. First is ball. Hit the ball. No, oh, so Connie, your ball's out. Your ball's out. Good luck getting poison. Losing my ball completely thwarted all of my plans. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also wrote K off of that ball. I got that victory point. Now I go for the player hit. I missed that, actually. <laughs> so I lost my ball, but I did not lose my life. So there's that. So now I go for the... Um, the pole. The pole, which I don't want to hit, because if I hit the pole, I can't choose my direction. Correct. But I hit it. 
And it goes straight. That bowl saved your life. One, yeah. It really did. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm kind of out uh, further nowhere. Okay. Down to the wire. So, if I do roll an eight and hit him, he gets two damage, correct? Oh, damn. Yep. Six, all right. All right, well, I'll take it. One. Ball. Hit. All right, it hits me. Left glance. Oh, you don't have your ball there, so it hits you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to mosey my way onto the help desk and get my ball back. I have to go to the help desk and get my ball before before the rest of the balls are off the board or else we all lose. They're very helpful at the help desk. They, they know your name. Good people. Got a lot of balls. <laughs> So I'm going to stand back up. <laughs> I live. So yeah, I'm going to actually go one, two, three, and I'm going to, I'm just going to just admire joy. that blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you really have the energy to do yep. after you've been debilitated. So that's, that's my turn. Oh, I forget when I stood up, I go back to full health. All right, my other, my brother, whatever, next in a series of attempts to win the game, <laughs> um, I will go to my ball. And if I can knock out, if I can hit both Thor and her ball, then I win. So no, Hinks got hurt. Oh, you just points. points yeah. oh, I didn't even <gasps> notice that. Oh! I did not realize that Eli only needed two points to win. I thought that I would have more time to make my way over to the end post and try to hit it again. This is the second time that I've been in this same position where I'm within one move of winning the game. I just have to hit somebody with my poison ball, and I will take it. Two, perfect. <laughs> okay, first the ball. Hit! Uh, All right. Mm, Peace. This might be it. I wanted that, though. And now, for my last trick. Ha <laughs> ha! Headshot! Oh, that was satisfying. <sighs> it was cool to get to sneak up there, and, uh, Get those final points. I definitely was aiming for it, and I'm glad that I did it. Thor had his points down because I I knocked him down some. So I I I put Thor right on the the tipping block that really let Eli win. My bad. That's all I'm gonna say for now. <laughs> so that's the it. Points. That's seven points. So Eli, you you won the game. You yes, get to I go uh, go hang out in the uh, winners area. Go ahead, and the the rest of us will go to the losers couch of shame. I did it. So I took out Thor. Hitoru was successful. As the only person with poison, I was able to push people around, take out some balls, use those rokes to bounce around, and ultimately achieve victory in the way that Hitoru would have wanted, and save my girlfriend. So it's a good day, other than the loss of everybody else, which. Whatever. I hope you guys had a great time. Well played. Are we? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> right, I think that my competitors still had a good time. Like I said, they were still always on the verge of just like pummeling me to death, and it just never happened. I got pretty lucky, so uh, some of them are probably uh, frustrated about that luck, but luck is fun, and I bet they had a good time. I have no more feelings. <laughs> hey guys, enjoying uh, your defeat tea on the loser's couch? Mm, well, we had a good time. Uh, we got close. Uh, it was a close game. To the, I mean, I, I was I was far away from winning, but and you guys were close. I guess. Did you? Uh, I hope you guys had a fun time though. It would have been more fun if I had one. Well, thank you for coming out anyway. Uh, enjoy your tea. I'm going to uh, go congratulate our winner. So Eli, an incredible victory with Hitoru Wakanabe. Do uh, you have some words for the folks at home? Just uh, don't mess with Hitoru Wakanabe and go play some Killer Croquet. 
Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. You had the great change there at the end. Uh, I want to present you with you get your own certificate of croquet. Awesome. Congratulations. I will actually fill out your name right here. And you like? There you go. Congratulations. Uh, so you win. Congratulations. And thank you very much for coming on uh, playing Killer Croquet. Thanks, Mac. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. And